you're gonna look great when you're done with me. Hey, it's Austin, and we're gonna be doing an arms turbo workout. So, when I started working out, my biggest fear was getting bulky and looking like, well, like a man. I wanna look feminine, right? So this workout is great. You're just gonna tone up, and we're gonna put muscle on the body, but you're gonna be long and lean. So grab your dumbbells, and let's begin. Biceps and triceps are the focus. Regular bicep curl to begin. Trick here is when you start going like this, and you start thinking about what you have to do, it doesn't work. No matter what size weights you're working with, you wanna create your own resistance and only go up 80%. So if you need a guideline, it's right about chest level. And then you wanna extend it all the way down. Another big thing, when we get bulky, this move, unless it's a pulse, you're gonna start putting a lot of size into that muscle. This way, long and lean. Perfect. I have a little bend in my knees here, so I'm keeping my abs tight, I'm squeezing my tush. Extra credit, I always say it's extra credit. Let's go for six more right here. Release it down, five. You have four, three, two. One of my favorite moves, it kills all of my clients. It cracks me up too. I call it Popeye arm. So you're gonna sweep underneath it. You're gonna get some shoulders involved, but notice how I'm flexing my bicep on the way in. I can add a little pace to it. It's almost like a speed bag. Go for eight, seven, six, five. We're gonna go back to that curl in four, three, two, one. Take them up, and now let's slowly release it down on the negative. Take it up 80, slow on the down. Good, right there. And think about where your elbows are landing. You don't want them glued to your side, and we don't want them to pop up either. Let's go 10 more. Nine, slow. Eight, seven, we're gonna go back to those Popeye arms. We're gonna reverse the direction. In five, four, you have three, two, hold it up on one, opposite way, pull it out. Good. You should feel it. And then think about where your grip is. If you're starting to really tense up in your fingertips, let it go. Trust that you're working your bicep. You have five, four, three, two, hold them up, take it out to the side. Another one of my favorites. You can hit that bicep so many directions. Outward curl, you wanna think about that, that line. Not the one that you're like, cool, but the one that's like, yeah, I look good, I'm toned, I'm gonna wear a tank top, I'm okay. Right there, exaggerate it out. Perfect, so with, with about a minute of work, depending on what size weights you're using, you can get eight reps in, you can get 15. My focus is that it's all the way down each time. Good, let's go for six. You have five, four, three. So remember, this is a turbo. I'm gonna keep you going. Hold this one up, wrap it out and in. So a little bit of shoulder work starts to burn again. And that bicep is still exaggerating out. Your abs flexed. Go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Take it in, hammer curl. So I work with Julianne Huff all the time. She's beautiful, she's so talented. And when she's on the red carpet, we always look at the dress she's gonna wear and how she's gonna pose. It's all about this pose, right? You know how they do it. I practice all the time in the mirror. And I'm not even on the red carpet, it's fine. In my head I am. But with her, she's so great and I tell her, we work out, we get her arms ready and before she hits that red carpet, this quick turbo, she's gonna look good, she's gonna feel confident and her arms are gonna look lean. Nice, so six more here. Hammer curl, so you get the muscle a little leaner on this curl. Five, you have four, three, Two, hold this one up just like we did with the other one, with the palms up. Keep it parallel, we get a different angle. Open it up. Good, you have eight more. Seven, six, five, four. I'm gonna start to get your triceps warmed up. In three, two, take it in, and now just start going like you were in a sprint, pumping your arms so you still get your bicep, and I'm kicking your tricep on the back. Because right after this, your tricep's gonna feel it. I don't do as much work with the tricep when working with weights. 
because they seem when they die out a little faster than your bicep. But that tricep muscle is so small, so if you put in a little bit of effort, you can get that great definition. So let's pump up a little bit more. You have eight, seven, six, you have five, four, three, two, one. Very nice, roll your shoulders, get ready, come forward at a 45 degree angle, squeeze back and kick back, right here. Really think about extending long and lean behind you. We have a couple of tricks here. So the angles that we hit with the biceps, we do the same with the triceps. So currently, parallel. Let's go three more like this. Two, and now I'm gonna flip my palms up. Should feel it even more with that tricep. Get a deeper twist. Good. And then think about it. When you start getting tired and we start going through this motion again, it's not doing the work. Stay in it. Make it smaller, stop it at that hip bone, then kick back. Go eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it up. Good, we're gonna take those weights right overhead. I want you to stay in the burn. So keep it tight. You wanna keep your elbows framing your face. Don't let your elbows kick out to the side. That's cheating, I don't want you to cheat. I want you to get the results. So take it all the way down, extend it up. If you have to drop to one weight, I'm not gonna judge you. I just want you to keep working. As long as you feel the burn, that's what I'm after. So go eight more here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't even think about dropping it because I'm gonna make you pulse. So make it disappear behind your head and just breathe through it. Some of my clients, they have to kind of move, they have to dance, they have to close their eyes. Just get it done. We're gonna go one more rep of full tricep extension. If it becomes too much with two weights, you drop down to one, I don't judge you. You just keep working and we keep getting that burn together. Keeping your elbows super tight, framing your face. You go out here, you're cheating. I don't like cheaters in my class. I don't like cheaters working out. So, down and up. Let's go for eight more. Seven. You have six, five, all the way down, all the way up. Three more. Two, don't think about dropping it because I'm gonna make you pulse. Take it behind your head, pulse it out. When I train my clients, they're always like, Astrid, you're always pulsing. You're right, because it gets the job done and you're gonna look great when you're done with me, right? So five more, four, three, two. We have one more set up and down. This should be the killer. This is the one that's gonna make you feel confident when you walk outside. Go for six, five. You might even need to get a little help from your legs. Four, three, two. Final pulse, because I was, you know, you should have known that was coming. Go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and extend it all the way up. You should feel like your arms are long, lean, strong, not bulky, and you look good and confident. So work out again. If it gets easy, pick up heavier weights, and don't be afraid to lift them like I was when I started working out.